All right, I want to show that um, the cross product of u and v have norm equal to the norm of u times the norm of v times sine sine theta. Okay, so let me explain to you what this this means. So, uh, if u and v are vectors, suppose we have the vector u here and the vector v here, um, u cross v is going to be a vector um, perpendicular to both um, u and v, and this is um, the cross product of u and v. Um, product here and um, so I want to show this and I will explain to you why I want to show this now we know from the past that if we have a vector V and we take the norm of V and square it that this is equal to actually V dot V um, we'll be using that namely in this setting so what we do is we are interested in um, in using this this um, this property that I showed over here on the other side um, to prove this. Okay, so let's do that. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to write um, u cross v square using this property here of of the norm square we're going to write this as u cross v dot u cross v now um, we're going to expand this and we're going to spend some some time simplifying things and when we get done we will actually obtain that the norm of u squared times the norm of v squared minus um, u dot v squared is equal to this. All right. So now what we what we are going to do is uh, is recall the formula for the angle between two vectors. Okay. So we. We recall that if we had the vector u and v, that the following formula holds. That the cosine of theta, um, where theta is the angle between both vectors, so the cosine of theta is equal to u dot v divided by the norm of u times the norm of v. Right? So what we can do is um, what we can do is we can actually um, write u dot v. So this implies then that um, the norm of u times the norm of v is equal to, or rather, sorry, not quite. Let me actually erase this. Times the cosine of theta. All right, is equal to u dot v. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing that we just uh, finished doing here. Right. We're going to take this expression here, and we're going to substitute it for u dot v. We're going to take this thing, this expression here, and substitute it for u dot v. So um, we're going to do that over here. So this is going to become then, this is going to be equal to the norm of u squared times the norm of v squared minus um, the norm of u times the norm of v cosine theta and I have to square this. Now again what I took was 
what I took was this expression, which we know is equal to u dot v. Uh, the, the expression is here, and I just uh, substituted it for u dot v. So now we have this situation here. And now what we can do is, of course, we can square everything here. So this is going to become then the normal v u squared times the normal v squared minus the normal of u squared times the norm of v squared times cosine square theta. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that norm of u squared times the norm of v squared and leave a 1 minus cosine uh, square theta in there. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to factor this as, uh, mm, this is not what I want. Let me erase this as um, the norm of u squared times v squared times 1 minus cosine square theta. So I'm writing this here. Now I'm going to recall an identity from the past that um, we know uh, and we learned, namely that the cosine squared of theta plus a sine squared of theta is equal to 1. And this is not um, complicated to, uh, to actually uh, deduce. It follows from the circle of radius uh, 1 centered at the origin, which is, uh, which is um, actually used uh, extensively um, in trigonometry. So um, in the future, we can actually discuss this. So using this identity, then, this implies, then, that, um, that, um, that 1, so this implies that sine squared, sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta. And there we have it. All right, so I am going to replace in our equation here this with sine squared theta. So this is going to be equal to u squared times um, v squared times sine squared uh, theta. Now, um, something that I want to bring to your attention is, so this is equal to that. This here is equal to that. So this is equal to that. All right, so I want to bring to your attention that sine theta um, is actually um, positive from, um, from, uh, from 0 to pi. All right, so I can take the square root of, of both of these uh, expressions, both of the sides here. So uh, this implies then that um, the norm of u cross v is actually equal to um, the norm of u times the norm of v times sine theta, which is exactly what I wanted to show. So now I am done, but I of course have to justify to you why I bother to go through this uh, sort of deliberation just to get this, which doesn't seem to be um, very interesting, but um, I will make it uh, seem interesting to you uh, very shortly. Um, what we are going to, to do is we're going to make the observation that, let me make this observation here, um, observation um, we're going to make the observation that follows. I am going to um, I am going to um, to create a, a, a um, two vectors here. Okay, let's say this is u, and this is let's say uh, v, right? So um, let me actually. Um, insert um, theta in here. This is u. This is v. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this to, to a parallelogram. 
right? I'm going to complete this parallelogram, and let me actually use a different color for that. Okay, so I'm completing this parallelogram. Okay, it has to be about the same length, or rather exactly the same length, but and then I'm going to to do this. So now I have a parallelogram, and uh, what I want to do is um, I want to actually um, drop a perpendicular from um, here all the way down here, right? I'm dropping a perpendicular, and um, this uh, this perpendicular I am going to call um, H. So um, we know that uh, that the sine of theta, the sine of theta. Let me actually write this in red here. We know that the sine of theta um, is actually equal to h divided by uh, the length of the hypotenuse. As you recall, this is a vector u here, and we have a vector v, right? So um, the sine of theta is going to be h divided by the norm of this uh, vector here, which I'm going to write as u, right? Norm. I wrote as u norm. That's perfectly clear. So now this implies that h, this implies then that h is equal. OK, so this implies that h is equal to um, the norm of u sine theta. Now, um, we recall that the area of a parallelogram equals to its base times its height. So this implies then that the area of this parallelogram here, let me actually uh, show this parallelogram in a different color here. The area of this parallelogram here that I am shading in purple, so this implies that the area of this parallelogram is actually equal to the base times the height. So this is equal to um, the norm of v times h, but the height is actually equal to the norm of u sine theta. So the norm of u times sine theta. So this is equal to the area of the parallelogram. All right? So what do we have here? Spanned by u and v, of course. The area of the parallelogram spanned by u and v. So what do we have here? That this here, the norm of u cross v, is equal to the area of the parallelogram spanned by u and v. And that is why we wanted to actually prove this this theorem or this fact. All right? So thank you for listening.